Hi, Joe Curry here at Can-Am RV Centre in London, Ontario. This is the Airstream Interstate GL with the Tommy Bahama styling. The Tommy Bahama uh, edition here is really special. It has special flooring, special laminates, special seating fabrics as well, and it comes with a really nice complement of accessories, uh, especially in the bar area that you'll see inside. The nice thing about the new Mercedes chassis that the Airstream Interstate is built on is all of those nice new features, the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, the larger screen, the seven speed transmission, the power door, more headroom in the cabin, all great improvements by Mercedes over previous generations of that Sprinter van. Of course, Airstream takes every single option that Mercedes offers from their Stuttgart Germany factory and then add a few other elements that they alone are allowed to add to the Mercedes to stay within that partnership. For example, they do have the anti-gravity suspension system. That's an upgrade from Mercedes, uh, that the Airstream adds. It's not available from Mercedes, is what I'm trying to say. Also, it is a air ride suspension. So it will balance it nicely for you. No needs to put leveling blocks under the tires when you're stopped in a reasonably level spot, but need to get it just a bit more level for comfort inside, then that airbag will do that for you. But of course, carry lots of load if you're carrying any cargo, towing a boat or a horse trailer, any of those types of things, that air ride suspension is going to give you that extra bit of uh, loft in the back end. And again, that balancing driving down the road straight is really important for safety as well. Of course, Airstream is going to go with silver like their iconic trailers are that uh, silver aluminum. So they do want to uh, reflect that as well. But you will see some really gorgeous ground effects. The nice video that my coworker Dan did on the Interstate GT will show you a lot of these additional details as well. But again, the ground effects here, uh, even the way they put it around the tailpipe, the reinforced step for entry and exit, Again, also a very clean look with the Airstream. There's not a lot of plastic and gaps and vents and things. Even the uh, awning itself, which is over 15 feet, that's a nice size awning on a van. Uh, and look how it's nicely integrated with the molded caps. That helps with aerodynamics a little bit, but really is an integrated look. And this is an armless awning. So when that comes out, no arms to bang into, and it does have a seismic sensor. So if you get a bit of a wind coming when you're inside, it'll actually put that away for you automatically as well. So the moldings that they have here are all bannered and badged with Airstream. Just again, a very elegant, elegant look for the Airstream. It does use the bi-xenon headlights and fog lamps, really great nighttime illumination or even those dark rainy foggy days you'll certainly be able to see down the road and people will see you coming as well. Another one of the really nice features of the Airstream Interstate is how clean it looks. We've talked about that on the other side but this is where all the mechanicals are. No big fridge vents we'll see inside it's a 12 volt fridge so no venting required like a gas electric traditional RV fridge. Everything's all painted to match using the stainless steel uh, exhausts here, uh, stainless steel for your water inlets, even stainless steel for your, your suburban vent here, and your uh, power cord attachment. So just a really elegant look. And of course, the badging on an interstate is just special. The Tommy Bahama elements continue at the rear as well, where we see the double doors and the overhead rear vision camera Notice how the trailer hitch is nicely hidden with the, uh, the moldings. Again, not a big rusty black piece of steel there. At the rear, you do have a power bug screen. It's a really nice feature. Just uh, push the button on the uh, touch screen and down it comes. Really, really nice system that's all integrated in with that same Tommy Bahama stylings on the laminated woods. And a push of the button and back up it goes. So we're going to step inside the Airstream Interstate, but before we do that, I want to point out some really nice elements here at the entry. First of all, it is a power step with the power door. Door opens, step comes out, door closes, step goes away. Uh, has a really nice entry here as well with a titanium looking tread here for stepping in, a little bit of an extra footwell here. Airstream insulates the floor much, much more than other brands. So the floor is about an inch thicker than most. So they do have this little step up, but they've put a really elegant design in place with that. But the Tommy Bahama interior is really special by itself. Come on in. 
So this is the GL. So we have four seats for belting in the front. So a really nice uh, an environment here for traveling with a group. The front seats swivel. There's a place for a table. Gives you a really nice front social lounge area here. Very, very comfortable. Memory foam infused seating with the, the ultra leather fabrics. Ultra leather is really easy to care for. It doesn't uh, crack and patina like a true leather, but it's breathable unlike a vinyl. It really is a miracle fabric. So it wouldn't be an Airstream if it wasn't fully featured and the Interstate GL has a full galley and wet bath. In the galley has some really nice uh, components here. So the flat top glass sink with fold up faucet. You'll see these in some cabin cruisers, small yachts, that kind of thing as well. It's a nice treatment to allow for some expanded counter space here. It is a nice Corian counter with some backlighting and uh, the Schmev style Dometic stove is the two burner again with that flat top glass cover that gives you all that extra working space when those appliances aren't in use. Uh, we have a bar area set up here for all your favorite bottles. Uh, the, uh, the island life, of course, is Tommy Bahama is all about having some really nice social times together. This is the 12 volt fridge, so it's a good size for this type of people moving product. You do have lots of door storage. There's an ice chest here as well, and a good amount of food storage. Again, being 12 volt, it gets cold in an hour. You don't necessarily have to be fully level for it to function properly like a typical RV fridge, and you don't have to have all of those vents outside. So a nice, nice product and simply the best you can get to expect from best in class. Similarly, we have a convection microwave in a drawer. So with a compact space, we have to have efficient appliances. So the very best is the convection microwave. So a convection microwave will bake, broil and grill as well as reheat like your home microwave. So a combination oven and microwave is an ideal appliance for a compact coach like this. Lots of tip downs and pull outs here. So as most Airstreams have, it comes with the signature maple cutlery tray. Lots of storage here. These of course are latches that hold things up. 10 pound hinges means they're not going to fall up and down on you here. Uh, there is more tumbler storage for the bar theme over the galley. And again, as we go along, just a tremendous amount of storage space on the sides and a really deep one here at the rear, of course, all lit and all lined. So uh, anything in there is not gonna rattle and clang around as you're driving down the road. So very elegantly made. I, I keep saying elegant, but that's what comes to mind when we're talking about an Airstream Interstate. All the aluminum extrusions to give strength so they're not rattling over time. Uh, they don't loosen up over time. And uh, they also add the, the nice aluminum treatments on the ceiling. Again, an Airstream signature item. The uh, rear lounge area here is belted for five. So you can actually carry nine people with this model. Very, very comfortable, very supportive. The push buttons are at the front, so you just pull this out and you'll see that the seat goes down flat here. The jump seats come in and the seat backs drop in to give you a complete bed space here at the rear of the GL. Just an ingenious little space here that takes care of what's needed in getting ready for the morning. Corner sink soap and uh, shampoo dispenser, lid over the toilet paper holder, and this is a one-piece shell, so really contains any of the shower moisture very, very well. Does have the vent fan in the ceiling, so you can vent that air out. A very, very nice and, and efficient bath. So for all of your controls in the Airstream Interstate GL, right behind this cabinet door. So it is all touch screen. So we have a home screen here that gives us all of the elements that you see. Your lighting, electrical control for your generator, that kind of thing. And just back to home for all of your vent fans, AC, all of those things. Screen for the back door. It is a powered screen at that rear door. And all of your settings and so on here. So really nice touch screen here. Works very effectively. This one is powered by lithium batteries. So it does have a battery heater. In cold temperatures, if you're charging your lithium batteries, you can damage them. So by having a heater, you simply will not. They need to be warm. Uh, it does have the solar controller here as well, the inverter control, and a power management system. So really, really great electronics here in this area. 
We also have in the front your entertainment. You can hook up a digital uh, music player here, uh, Blu-ray DVD player, that type of thing. But for the connectivity in the interstate, they're using this car stereo type AM, FM, DVD, auxiliary, and Bluetooth, so you can stream all of your Spotify's and things like that through the couch speakers on this stereo system. We also have, for the front lounge, a second TV. There's one at the bedroom area, one at the lounge area here, so you do have all of that entertainment that you want on the road as well. Here we are in the cockpit of the Airstream Interstate GL and really nicely upgraded by Mercedes for this uh, model year. The, it does have the adaptive cruise control, so that means you don't have to hit your brakes and stop and go traffic. It will stop and go for you. And uh, has the adaptive braking, uh, lane wandering assist, blind spot assist, all of those electronic assist items that you would expect from a quality manufacturer. The TFT mirror allows you to see behind you even when going forward. That's a long distance with smaller windows back there for rear vision. So the, uh, the camera will give you rear vision capabilities, backup vision capabilities, and there's also side vision cameras. So when you turn your blinker on, that turns into a side camera so you can see any blind spots or merging points as well. So the infotainment system here has navigation, but of course, most will use their Apple CarPlay or their Android Auto, uh, but a really nice screen for that functionality. Uh, power door switch and everything is here. You do have uh, 12 volt uh, adapters and USB hookups down below, and it is the fully adjustable power seat as well. So a very, very comfortable cockpit. What you'd expect from a quality partnership, Airstream and Mercedes. Thanks for watching this video of the 2021 Airstream Interstate GL. This is the Tommy Bahama edition. And I'm Joe Curry. We're at Can-Am RV Center. Give us a call if you'd like more information about this interstate or the other motorized products that we offer here at Can-Am. You can give us a call at 866-226-2678 or come online, canamrv.ca.